Congratulations, Paul, on achieving your place at university. Now that you're going to be living away from home, have you had any thoughts about how you might go about managing your money? No, uh, I haven't really thought about it. I suppose because I'll be receiving maintenance loan payments, I'll probably have more money than I ever have done before. And um, my bank's offered me an interest-free overdraft, so I think I'll be fine. Ah, oh. well, banks can seem very generous in offering an interest-free overdraft, but you should remember that, nevertheless, it is still a loan. It will have to be repaid at some point in time, and it won't always be interest-free. So I think you will have your maintenance loan for your day-to-day -day living, but you should try and keep your borrowing to a minimum. So my first top tip would be try and keep your borrowing to a minimum whilst you're at university. I don't know what my budget is. A budget is a, a plan of your expected income and expenditure. Um, so you need to think about what uh, income you've got coming in and what expenses you've got going out um, so that you can take control of your money. So my second top tip would be take the time to prepare a budget and that will give you control of your income and expenditure. So why is a budget useful? Well, once you've prepared one, it's like a financial plan or, or a roadmap of where you're going. So once you've got your budget, uh, you know where you're going and how you're en going to end up getting there. If you haven't got a budget, you don't know what your plan is or even where you're going to end up. Um, so it's really useful to give you control of your income and expenditure. So this leads me to top tip number three, which is that when you prepare your budget, you should try and identify all of your expenditure. And that expenditure, some of it is fixed and some of it is discretionary in nature. So you should think about that when you're doing your budget. And what's the difference? What do you mean by fixed expenditure? So some things are fixed. Um, for example, you're going to be living in hall or, or, or rented accommodation. Those hall fees are fixed at, at the start of the semester. Um, so you will have to meet those costs, first of all, if you've got a mobile phone contract, anything like that. Those kind of expenditures are, are fixed. Um, and they're different to your discretionary expenditure where you choose how much you spend. So if I meet the costs of my Hall fees, everything else is mine to spend as I like, basically. Well, y yes and no. So after hall fees, there will still be costs that you need to meet. For example, you'll have to have food, you'll have to have travel, you might even need some books. So those kind of costs will need to be met. Um, but the, the main thing you need to know is how much you've got to spend on socialising because socialising, going out, is a very important part of university life. But you need to know how much you've got to spend so that you don't spend it all in the first couple of weeks and then find out that you've got nothing left to live on for the rest of the semester. Yeah, I suppose it would be useful to know how much I can spend on food and socialising. So, a budget can answer those questions for you. Uh, first of all, you need to work out how much income you've got. So your income will come from different sources, obviously a big chunk from your maintenance loan, but you might always also have some uh, family contributions, um, you might have some savings of your own, you might even have a part-time job. So you will bring together all of that income in the months when you receive it. Having a budget means that you'll be able to see in advance if your income will cover your expenditure for the whole term.